Hello, Battle Brawlers. We are back at again with another unboxing video. Uh, this one here will be the uh, one of the, I think it's my last um, of the Wave 1 uh, back gear packs, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I don't see any others that were lying around my house. I think this is the last one, last one I'm opening, I think. Anywho, this is the Orlis Dragon White Ultra plus back gear with a Aquas Hellcore Ultra and two other core back on. Let's swing it around to see what they are. They are indeed a Chaos Pegatrix, uh, which is also part of like the Wave 1 core set, and a Darkest Hydrus Ultra, which is from another set somewhere in the line, and these are both doubles for me. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it comes with... Uh, all these Bakugan, plus the Baku gear. Um, well, eight Baku cores, eight Baku cores, four ability cards, four ability cards, Judge G, and Toy Battle Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, uh, and skip over the part for you guys of me struggling to open this, and we'll have it all out in the open in just a second. Alrighty, they're all out of their packaging here. It took a minute, like, A plus on the, the packaging, Packaging the packaging there because it did take a time for me to get these out. So good on that uh, theft protection, that's for sure. Anywho, um, uh, first things first, let's just go ahead and open this thing up. Take a look at their back of cores and uh, what cards it comes with. Ah, once we remove everybody's favorite piece of tape there. Yeah, come on, let's take out the Baku cores first. Uh, and then all the other fun stuff. Let's go with those in a second. For, first things first, the Baku cores. Alrighty. Um, so I have a shield core of uh, plus 250 B power, minus one on that Baku gear cost. Uh, oh, plus, plus 500 uh, Flaming Fist, that's a pretty good one. Uh, plus 50 B power, plus 1 damage, and a minus 2 energy back gear cost. That's not bad. Uh, 400 B power, minus 1 damage, minus 1 energy cost. Okay. A, uh, green fist, plus 3 B power. A, uh, shield. One of the better ones for shield cores. A, whoops. A, uh, plus 400 B power for aquas and darkest. A, uh, she, uh, fist of plus 100 B power... And for Aquas and Darkus, back on plus 3 damage. Ooh. Alright, the good magic shield cord of plus 650. Alright. So this isn't a bad pack for uh, cores entirely. Um, now let's go ahead and take a look at the cards it comes with, huh? Uh, so here we have a uh, super rare uh, Aquas Aqua Greaves. Aqua Greaves, uh, for 5 energy cost, plus 4 frost, okay. You also got plus 200 B power and plus 4 on that damage. That's not bad. Uh, rare Silent Spears, even though that's not what this is. Um, 5 energy cost, uh, uh, for 500, plus 500 damage. That's alright, I guess that's fair. Um, for 3 energy cost, uh, Dark Helm. Uh, two plus two hundred B power and plus two damage. Okay. Uh, then we have bolt blow, bolt blow. Uh, for two hundred G cost plus two frost and plus one hundred B power. All right. Now we have our Orlis Dragonoid Ultra. Um, yeah. So uh, fist and helix. Uh, base five hundred B power, base one damage. But if it does pick up helix core, that is an extra uh, six damage. So that's okay. Uh, Hydra's core, shield, green fist, four hundred B power, five damage. Aquas Hellcore Ultra, uh, Green Fist and Shield, a base 700 B power and a base 1 damage. Pegatrix here, a Magic Shield and Flaming Fist, 400 B power and 5 damage. So, those are those guys. Um, yeah, let's just take a look a second. Pegatrix, everybody knows what this thing looks like. And same with Hellcore there. Not Hellcore, um, what's his face? Hydra's Core. That's him. Yeah, um, these are a duplicate back on for me, so I'm really not going to pay any much attention to them. I think this already came in a, another three pack at some point. I'm not entirely sure which one. Um, so yeah, and this I think I opened up as a single. May have opened up as a single because at the time I didn't know it. I, I came as a. Uh... Oh no, actually, 
And I'm looking at my checklist. I don't have the Chaos Pegatrix Core yet, so that's pretty neat. But I do have the uh, the Darkest Hydras already. So this is actually a new back gun for me. That's pretty nice. I guess I just see it at Walmart <laughs> a lot in the thing. So, you know. Anywho. Anywho, moving on from these two guys. Um, first, let's look at Halcor Ultra Aquas with his uh, big tail here. Jeez, that thing really sticks up, huh? Lord, I think this is one of the tallest back gone. All right, it's taller than the Dragonoid there. Um, my goodness me, that's tall. I don't, I don't even know if it's supposed to be that tall to be on. Yes, it is, because it has, like, big claws. I think it comes out. That's why it's so tall. Anywho, uh, manual parts are basically just his, like, feet. Feet are manual parts, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, back of your spots on him are here, uh, here, and then you place the thing on his tail. And, yeah, again, for the other guys, back of your spots are here on the back of Hydrus, and then again on his back right there. And for Pegatrix, under the wings here, here, and then on the neck, right up there. Okay, now the main boy, Dragonoid. Uh, let's see, manual spots his horn here, and then his feet here and here. I really love these Zorlis back on they make them so shiny. And then his wings also come out a little bit as well. Um, for back gear. Um, he has these guys which go on his wings here, right, they go up there, his wings here, not really going in a whole lot, but right there, and, there. and again, on his other wing, right up there, little guns on his wings, and then the other thing, the pirate, the cannon, Right there, Orlis Cannon, whatever the heck its name is. Yeah. Uh, some, I think something was my dragon, but I think its wing goes higher than the other. That's weird. That's interesting. Yeah, this wing seems to be going a little bit higher than the other one. Anywho. Anywho, that's what it looks like with his back gear on. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Let's put it on Halcor here. I mean, he's not really aiming at much, to be honest. And, you know, you can have it pointing upwards. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's taller than Halcor right now. But, yeah. Anywho, moving on. To close it, simple, just like that. And then just take these guys off. Ah. And just put them to the side somewhere for later. Uh, Alright, to close them, Pegatrix. Make sure everything is in. And just bring it together, like so. Uh, so Hydras, feet go in like that. Head has to come down and in. And then just push that piece, and there you have that. Uh, for Halcor, let's do Halcor first. We need to look at his instruction sheet that this thing comes with. Alrighty. Alrighty then. So here with Halcor Ultra, uh, manual parts in being his feet and his back legs. No, his back legs are manual. Okay, so start with manual parts of his front feet. Uh, then you have his back legs come in. Uh, then his front ones. Uh, make sure those are pushed together. His head goes down and then tail comes around. Okay, so. Feet come up like that. Is this my first health core ultra? Question. No, no, I have two others. I just haven't done this thing with him in a while. Oh, right, now I remember. Okay. The feet come up, the other one in, and then they slide kind of together. Heads come down, and then the tail gets wrapped around just like that. Just like that for Helcor there. Not too, too hard. 
Uh, now for Dragonoid, right here, let's open his thing up. So we know how to do him. Okay. Uh, so manual parts in being his horns, arms, and feet. Um, and his wings too, yeah. Um, so then you gotta bring his head down, uh, his tail, the full that flap in, uh, and all that, and then his legs, and then the wings. Okie dokie. So manual parts are all in, except for the feet here, and then his wings, yep. So next is his head, that comes down, and then his tail, this little flap thing goes in, and then over like that. Uh, next, we do the legs, and then the wings, or the wings and the legs, something like that. Ah. Struggling with this a little bit. Ah. It's just a little bit awkward there. Okay, so that, the feet, those come up, the wings, Come in, and then the back, dang, and then the, <sighs> make sure you don't close the back piece over before you bring the feet in, that's, uh, that's a tip there. Okay. So head, tail, legs, wings, oh, come on, come on. This is annoying. This is one of the more annoying back going. Oh my goodness me. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys struggle closing your Armored Alliance uh, Dragonoid Ultra here. Because I sure as heck am. Like, oh my goodness me. Let's do... Oh yeah, that's why. Okay. Come on. And then... There we go. All right. Got him. Got him. All right. Now let's go ahead and roll him out because I'm holding. You know, let's start with Hydras here. Not Hydras. Uh, <laughs> Alcor. The uh, the way it tells you to. And miss because everybody always misses. Let's try that again. And they're all. Not now, buddy, not now. Okay. Stay there. Three, two, one. Bakugan, brawl. Bakugan, miss. All right, yeah, because Hellcore is pretty bumpy here, as you can, you can, uh, you can see. So his directions aren't going to be entirely the best. There you go, he opened finally. Um... Yeah, so that's it. Forwards. Now let's try it. Backwards. And all that. You're not supposed to be doing it. Just to see how that works. Okay, not sure if that's because he bounced off of Dragonoid or not. Um, let's try this again, shall we? Backwards one more time and another time because we missed that one. Okay, oh, I kind of like that one better. <laughs> he, he does open, he does a backflip, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, you know, your preference. I kind of like doing the backward version as a backflip on that. Um, all right, now let's try it uh, sideways. Just to see if that really makes a diff. Uh, they'll be pretty much hard because he's all bumpy and everything. Okay, well, he kind of just stopped and opened up, but because it's hard to say, I think he'll pretty much open up if you do roll on the side. Not that you will, but because it's like really tricky to because he's all bumpy and everything. Um. 
And let's do it on the side another time. And we will also miss that roll because that's always fun. Let's just throw down a couple more things there, yeah. Where's the, uh, there. There we go. Okay. On the side again. Okay, yeah, he, he, he'll still pick it up, but he won't really jump or anything. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, all right, that's that for Hellcore. Now for Drago here. Let's do it the way it shows you to, forwards with his arrow. His arrow right there, forwards, where we find his magnet, which is pretty much behind it right there. And back on Brawl. I can stand, and that was out of focus, which is always super fun. Um, yeah, so we opened up that way, which is always good. Um, now let's do it backwards, how you're not supposed to be doing it, to see if that really makes uh, an implication on him or not once I get his wing in because that's uh that's a tricky thing. There we go. Alright now we're doing it backwards so we're not supposed to be doing it. Make sure it's focused this time. Bahuan brawl. And okay. That happened. Um yeah so he'll open up that way as well. Um so forwards and backwards doesn't matter. Always recommended doing the way it tells you to forwards. Because that is going to be your best bet now for fun. Uh, we will see how he does if we roll him on his side. If I can get the wings in. Gosh darn it. Yeah, let me know if you guys struggle with your Dragonoid too. It's like this stupid... It's this stupid thing right here. With the, the wings. There we go. That's one. Uh, that's two, and then the back piece. Okay, do it sideways. And he's a little bit bumpy because of his feet and these things. Um, so, yeah. Mechagon Brawl. Yeah, no, he'll open and that was out of focus. Why was that out of focus? It was in focus when I checked it. Anywho. Yeah, he'll open, but it will be all out of focus. <laughs> out of focus. No, he just won't pick up the back of core. Um, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, so, that is pretty much it for, um, this battle pack. Uh, I did find this, or get this at Target. No, not Target. I don't have a Target. I meant Toys R Us here in Canada. We don't have Target stores, unfortunately. Uh yeah. Okay. Um and then the other thing Boom, there we go. Okay. And then I just and yeah, the core back on. It doesn't really matter how you open them up or how you roll them out, because they are core back on and they'll pretty much open up any way you roll them. As long as you make sure your aim is good and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So you enjoyed this video here on these guys and their battle pack. Make sure to leave a like. But before we do on off the video entirely, going to go ahead and check them off our list. Because uh, they are new back on for me. So, uh, most of them at least. Uh, Dragonoid here. Focus. Dragonoid here. Or less with Batu gear. Got both of those. All right, um, now Halcor, Aquas, yep, uh, Pegatrix, Chaos, yep, and then I already have the uh, Darkest Hydrus Core because that came in another set, I think, for some reason. So, yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this video on these guys, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below. Um, I would have opened up a pack, but we don't have any packs here in Canada, unfortunately. 
Um, some sad days for me. Anywho, if you enjoyed the video, again, sorry for rambling on and repeating myself. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and turn that bell notification on so you know when my next video goes up. Um, yeah, until next time, brawlers, remember to stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, practice your rules, keep your distance. Um, just have fun brawling.